As a class, we participated in an eye-opening experience, the Tunnel of Oppression. We watched and performed several scenes that depicted different discrimination issues. We hope that this documentary will help you understand and empathize with victims of oppression. Oh, I've been smiling lately, dreaming about the world at one, and I believe it could be someday it's going to come. Cause out on the edge of darkness, there is a peace train, or oh, peace train, take this country, come take me home again. God. In the Tunnel of Oppression, we acted in two skits, a bias-related incident and an international-related incident. The following are our reflections on the two skits and the impacts they had on us. In my skit, um, I was a bystander in Northgate while two international students walked by, and I throw a fit because um, I feel like there's too many of them walking around campus, and it just shows discrimination off campus and the hatred that students feel towards other students. In the skit that I did at the Tunnel of Oppression, I was one of two international students walking on Northgate. We bumped into a person walking, another student walking on Northgate, and they threw a beer at us. In the rest of the skit, we talked about how that made us feel and how scared we were walking on campus, being international, and the discriminations that we feel for being different. I participated in a bias-related incident skit in which a student had swastikas and um, derogatory terms written on her dry erase board on her dorm room door, and it was very emotionally draining because I had to connect with the audience on a very emotional level. And I the tunnel really opened up my eyes to all the different kinds of discriminations that take place every day on campus, things that I never think about, such as discriminating against people for religion and things like that that happen all the time. but. I don't know about it because I don't see it, so it really opened up my eyes. Conversations I had uh, actually shocked me in the fact that one of them was sparked by my acting in one of the skits and how another actor who's helping me get dressed for my part um, had very little knowledge of the culture in which the skit we were working on. So I would hope that future people who can go watch and learn from the tunnel oppression can like correct that. I was very surprised to see how many people actually came out to the tunnel of oppression. I was encouraged to see that so many people were interested in learning about different cultures and races and different forms of oppression that actually happen here on AM. I think it is important for teachers to walk through the tunnel of oppression so that they can view the different scenes that may occur and the experiences that their students might experience inside or outside the classroom and how it may affect their feelings and behavior and emotions. To acquire an outside perspective, we interviewed two future educators, Demi Dillman and Bailey Brown. I think it was really good because it shed light on a lot of issues that you kind of know that are there but you don't really think about all the time. Um, going into it, I knew that all the incidents had happened at A&M, um, but it still hadn't, and it still hasn't hit that these things would actually happen here at A&M because everybody I meet is always so friendly, always so willing to help each other, and um, we're, you know, have a diversity campaign around uh, the university and everything, and so it's just really... Um, it's almost surreal to think that these things could just really happen to just random students around campus by other students. We hope this film has helped you to see the impact the Tunnel of Oppression had on participants. We also hope that you learn to appreciate the differences in people instead of oppressing them. Freedom by Carmela Walker. The freedom to have my own mind without others trying to influence me. The freedom to be loved and not hurt. The freedom to be accepted and understood. The freedom to make mistakes and not be judged. The freedom to walk with my head held high in confidence without others trying to tear me down. The freedom, the freedom to, to be me. me.